You may be wondering, how is this life going? Five kids, yard work, babies, nursing. Well, it's noon. I haven't had breakfast yet. The baby just finally fell asleep and seems to be in a deep enough sleep. I can put him down and make some food, some brunch for everybody. I've got two kids in the bathroom. I don't know what they're doing in there. I found one kid on the roof today. Apparently he was up there yesterday too. Two children walked on coals yesterday. Everything's going Yay. great. I have control of everything. Gotta go. Hello friends, welcome back and thank you for joining me again here today. If you are new, my name is Katie and this is a channel where I like to share all kinds of holistic homemade goodness with you. Be sure to give this video a like and click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. This is one of our last days of the year to burn. Uh, it's very, very dry where we live. They do put a limit on when you can burn and because it's snowing today, we decided we would try to get as much as we can get burned from this huge pile we have back here. We've got that large pile of stuff. So we're gonna get it all burned down. It's already burning away. So I figured I would bring you guys along with a little bit of outdoor work that I do in the spring and I have a lot more to do. I just haven't been able physically to get out here and get it all done. And Aaron's home today, so he's inside holding the baby and watching golf. And I can do my favorite thing in the world, which is manual labor, hard work, yard work. I love this stuff. It's seriously a form of therapy for me to get the yard cleaned up and to burn stuff and to do hard work in general. Uh, Previously to getting married, I was in excavating and construction, I did environmental remediation as well as operated heavy equipment at times and did a lot of shovel ditch digging, a lot of climbing around in attics and crawl spaces in full hazmat gear with respirators in the summertime and doing like mold remediation, asbestos remediation, um, setting up containments, doing all that kind of stuff. So. It's something I've always enjoyed doing and I prefer to be the one like if one of us has to watch the kids and the other one do yard work Aaron can watch the kids I get to do the yard work it gives me a break it's fun I don't know if you like yard work let me know if you don't like yard work let me know I'd love to hear it down in the comments
Okay, we just noticed up here on the hill. A giant boulder. There's a giant boulder there. All right, right there is a giant boulder. And it is precariously balanced. Barely balanced. And I'm wondering, is it gonna roll down this hill that's very steep? and slam into our fence or our kid's fort that's right there. Our kid's fort is directly downhill from that boulder. There's the kid's fort, having those little trees. So, we gotta be careful about that. They got lots of rocks up there. Yep. Little postpartum update, so I'm six weeks postpartum now and been trying to get back to some yard work and stuff the last two weeks, but kind of ran into some physical issues that reminded me I needed to take it easy. So even with this burning of this pile, I'm trying to take it easy with the raking and everything like that. Um, but since we don't have time to wait to burn, we have to burn now. So that's what we're doing. I got my buddies out here with me. But yes, just a lot of snuggling baby, a lot of resting, a lot of Watch cooking and cleaning when I can get to it. Okay. Type of thing. Yeah. Are you all right? What'd you trip on? Um, There's not a. Okay. So, yeah. Glad to be outside in this beautiful oh. weather. Last bit of winter. It's the snow's already melting, so not much of winter left. Yeah. Okay, so we've made brunch, and this is mine and Aaron's. It has jalapenos, spinach, zucchini, asparagus in it, and then tater tots. And then this is just the aftermath of a crazy breakfast, morning, brunch day. What happened, Annika? Nothing. Nothing? 
Okay, were you trying to eat a black marker? <laughs> so then what happened? Mm. Open up, Monica. Okay, good. You didn't eat it. No, do this. Were you trying to give yourself a mustache? <laughs> were you trying to put lipstick on? <laughs> you, you succeeded. Okay, I sprayed this on the strawberries and then I ran some lukewarm water over top of them and then we're just going to give them a nice little swish. Look at that water. That's gross. You didn't see the strawberries in their bath. All right, hold on, let me rinse them off, strain them off, and then we can eat some of them. Ew, that's gross. That is seriously the water of these strawberries. Mommy. Yuck. Ew. Okay, so we are rinsing these. This is the rinse water. So that first wash got nearly everything. Most all the stuff off of there. We got the first cloth diaper on. Ta da! Here we go. He's about 12 pounds now, and he is blowing out of the crappy disposable diapers that I got. And three times today, they're even big on him a little bit, but they blow straight out up the back. And no matter what I do, every time he poops, I blow out my back. So, cloth. So now I need to take all of these and size them down because they were size for when Annika wore them. She wore them up until about mm, 12 to 15 months. Probably less than that because we ended up switching her over to like the smallest size pull-ups that they make. Um, while we were doing elimination communication, like 12 to 18 months time or age. And so she hasn't worn these since then. And they're in like brand new condition. I just need to size them down so that they fit Bodie. Because right now they don't. But there's a lot of girly colors. There's a lot of girl colors in here. But we're going to rock the pink diapers. And there's some other neutral colors. But see, some other neutral colors. But we're going to rock a couple of girly ones that we have too. Oh, most of these are Bum Genius. And then I'm not sure what these other off-brand ones are. We started cloth diapering yesterday, and these are the Bum Genius diapers that I use. I got these when I was when I had Annika. Um, these are the all-in-one, so it means that it's all sewn together. But I like these because they have the separate inside pieces, so that these can get washed really well and cleaned really well. And then for newborn sizing, what I do is I fold the underneath one one way. Then I come up here on the top one and I fold this another way, <laughs> the other way. So it's equal thickness back here and equal thickness right here. So we don't have like super bulk. And then I have these snaps snapped down to the newborn sizing. And then um, this one I'm gonna change cause it's wet. And when it gets wet, he notices it immediately. I'm gonna start doing elimination communication soon, but oh, yeah. because this is organic cotton, he feels it as soon as it gets wet. So he gets fussy. So I'm changing diapers. This guy has better head control. We're gonna start putting him on the potty. Hey, you're looking at all your brothers and sisters. <laughs> Wait, what kind of diaper is that? These are cloth diapers. These are the Bum Genius Elementals, I believe. Okay.